Can I be held responsible by the CDTFA for the unpaid sales tax of my employer's company or of the company I own? A person may be held personally liable for a business's unpaid sales tax if the elements of California Review and Taxation Code, RTC Section 6829 and Regulation Section 1702 are met. Section 6829 requires that the person subject to dual responsibility for the taxes is both a responsible person and willful as to the non-payment of taxes. The California Department of Tax and Fee Administration, or the CDTFA, will conduct an investigation to determine if an individual should be liable under these rules. Only a responsible person may be dually liable. Under Regulation Section 1702.5, Responsible person liability applies when the sales taxes are not paid upon termination, dissolution, or abandonment of the corporate business and contains two requirements. The taxpayer must be 1. A responsible person who 2. Willfully fails to pay the taxes to the government. A responsible person may be an officer but also may be a member, manager, employee, director, shareholder, or other person having control or supervision of, or who is charged with the responsibility for the filing of returns or the payment of tax, or who has a duty to act for the corporation in complying with any provision of the sales and use tax law. The touchstone for being a responsible person under regulation section 1702.5 is whether the individual being assessed possessed a sufficient degree of authority over corporate decision-making to make him a responsible person. Essentially, this regulation only applies when two requirements are met. The taxpayer must be 1. A responsible person who 2. Willfully fails to pay the taxes to the government. Responsible Person Liability Under Regulation Section 1702.6 imposes personal liability for sales taxes on 1. A corporate officer with control over operations or management of a closely held corporation during a time that the corporation is suspended or 2. Any responsible person who fails to pay or cause to be paid any taxes due from a closely held corporation during a time in which the corporation was suspended. The term control over operations or management means the power to manage or affect day-to-day -day operations of the business, and there is a rebuttable presumption that an officer has such power. Only a willful person may be liable. The willfulness requirement for imposing liability under Section 6829 is satisfied where the failure to pay or to be caused to be paid the taxes due was the result of an intentional, conscious, and voluntary course of action. A person is regarded as having willfully failed to pay taxes or to cause them to be paid where he or she had knowledge that the taxes were not being paid and had the authority to pay the taxes or to cause them to be paid, but failed to do so. In the matter of the administrative protests under the Sales and Use Tax Law of Gordon W. Kelly, Appeals Division Board Hearing Summary Case. Federal courts interpreting these terms have come to the same conclusion. Under Regulation Section 1702.5b2, willful means voluntary, conscious, and intentional. For the taxpayer to be willful, he would have had to actually know of the tax delinquencies or act in reckless disregard of those responsibilities. See Wright v. United States, 1987. Responsible Person Questionnaire When conducting its investigation to determine whether an employee or owner is a responsible person for purposes of applying dual liability for the unpaid taxes, the CDTFA will first look to internal records, such as return filings, and public records, such as those on file with the Secretary of State, to see who are potentially responsible persons. Once those individuals are identified, they will reach out to them directly and ask for information orally for documents such as bank statements and cancel checks and for completion of a responsible person questionnaire. Click here for a PDF copy of a blank CDTFA responsible person questionnaire. 
Daniel W. Layton, the author of this post, is a former IRS trial attorney and former federal prosecutor who was tasked with handling criminal tax prosecutions and civil litigation, including tax refund suits, lien enforcement, and foreclosures. As a tax attorney in private practice in Newport Beach, he uses his knowledge of IRS procedures and rules to keep the IRS in check and protect his client's rights. He may be contacted at 949-301-9829. Voice assistance provided by legal assistant Benjamin Tu.